Hello, mites. It is Crashmaster, and welcome to CM12 News. Well, today, mites, we are going to be talking about a lot of stuff that all of you can do in a month of August. Now, I would also love you all to, before we actually do get started, um, don't worry, it's going to be a giant announcement or anything like that. I just want you all to let to go in the comments and let me know how often would you love to see this kind of um, video in a sense, like, would you like to see this per month so I can give you it all in the month, um, which is something I want to do. Would you like to see it only, like, when there's a lot of forms of entertainment out there? Because obviously not every month is going to have the exact same amount of entertainment that, um, um, like, options you can get. But nonetheless, uh, just leave a comment. How often would you like to see this? Would you like to see this in a certain year, like, to cover the whole year and big stuff like that? Um, would you like to see it per month, every six months, like something like that, mites? So there you go. But now we're getting to the real gist of the video. Now, mites, first thing on the list, we have, um, first thing, we have to talk about a little bit of television because, mites, finally, the fourth or technically third season of The Seven Deadly Sins has, is, well, is arriving by the time this video is uploaded, hopefully on the six, because I'll be gone for a while on this, on, um, for the weekend, practically. Which is known as the the fourth season on Netflix. It's arriving on Netflix, um, with um a lot of subtitles for Spanish and English and many other forms as well. I'm pretty sure French possibly, um, which is the it's listed as the fourth season on Netflix, which is known as the Wrath of the Gods arc or the Imperial Wrath of the Gods arc. Um, but it's really the, the third season because the second season is listed at four OVAs, which is technically not, to me, it's really not a season, but hey, that's just the way that Netflix <laughs> lists it. So, yeah. Um, so, really, um, the plot, now, for those who haven't seen The Seven Deadly Sins, it's an anime, um, from Japan that is about seven knights in the fictional land of Britannia. Um, who have disbanded 10 years earlier and then came together, um, who came together again um, to the, to really just clear their names and just save everyone, <laughs> really. Um, it's based on a manga of the same name written by author Naka, Nakaba Suzuki and it's the story set in a fictional version of the British Isles. Um, it's the main cast of characters in the series is seven so-called deadly sins um, each having the, each, which, uh, should be an image right there, showing all seven of them, um, Miliotis, the Sin of Wrath, um, Escanor, the Sin of Pride, uh, Deanne, the Sin of Envy, I'm really trying to get this at the top of my head, uh, Bond, the Sin of Greed, um, King, who is my favorite sin, by the way, the Sin of Sloth, Gother, the Sin of Lust, and finally, we have Merlin, the Sin of Gluttony, as well as some other characters who are very important to the series, like um, Princess Elizabeth and Hawk the Pig, as well as Hawk's mom. Now, um, honestly, it's one of my favorite animes of all time. It is really, really such a great series. I've been looking forward to this for such a while because um, at this point, from the last, from season three, around that time, and, and now season four, they are facing off against the Ten Commandments, which it is kind of one of those things where, you know, Mark, you just get a group of, like, villains or heroes facing against each other. Um, it is just really great. Like you got seven against ten in a sense. Like you got to really think. Like man, they're gonna have. To, they're really having some trouble. And honestly, it's just been. It's been. It's just been getting so crazy. Honestly, much. So just letting you all know that the fourth season, technically third, is coming on Netflix, and I cannot wait to see it, which should be available by the time this comes out. Now, much. Um, next we have on the list is a new game coming out literally the next day. Um, to after this, that comes out, The Seven Deadly Sins, on the 6th, we have Inertial Drift, a new game which will be releasing on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC, which can play up to one to two players. Now, um, this game is set in a 90s retro future, and it's uh, based on an arcade. It's also, um, from, what the from what it's supposed to be described at, um, described as it's an arcade racer with a devastatingly unique handling model and unbelievably satisfying twin stick drift mechanics now 
Um, it's basically, we all know that with the joystick, it's on the Switch, um, PlayStation 4, um, Xbox One controllers, they're basically all just two sticks. So, it's known as the Twin Stick Arcade Racer, um, which is l actually a pretty new thing, Mars, because most games like GT, well, I guess it depends on how you set up your controls and whatnot and the settings but for the most part most drift uh, most games where you drift is usually just um both triggers are back um and forward like you go forward you go backwards some games depending will have you like reverse with um reverse with like if you're actually sh actually shifting gears and whatnot and most of the time and for my part in most recent games you basically just press the a buttons um just to like fully stop while also holding the the control like uh, the um, the joystick, so it really does depend on which game and how you're setting it. But I gotta say, Mark, this game looks really cool because the art style is really amazing, especially since it's on a it's set in the '90s retro future. And according to this, master drifting, it's a master drift racing game with 16 cars that each have their different handling characteristic and a host of demanding tracks to master, shaving fractions of second off by improving your technique constantly. Seriously, Mars, so let me know if you want this to be on the channel because this game sounds like it's going to be really cool with the art style, the way you play, the trailer makes it look so amazing. It is just going to be an awesome looking game, honestly, with the lighting and the way the game is set up. It is just so cool. Now, next, we have another game coming out on the 7th, Fast and Furious Crossroad, which this game I've been looking to for so many months, Mars, because honestly, I've been a fa fan of Fast and Furious ever since I was old enough to see it. I, I watched every single movie, which the ninth movie will be coming out in 2021. But until then, we have, because originally it's supposed to come out in 2020, but until then, Mike, we have something else to keep our hold off in the series, Fast and Furious Crossroad, which is an upcoming, it says it's known as to be an upcoming hybrid racing and action roleplay game based on a Fast and Furious film franchise. It is developed by Slightly Mad Studios um, and also published by Bandai Namco, as well as video game developer Codemasters. Which I gotta say is really cool because we all know who Bandai Namco is if we watch anime at this point, and it's it's going to be releasing on Windows, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. So what I am planning on playing down the channel on PlayStation 4 because I grew up with I basically got interested in it doing thanks to my dad, um, who really lost the franchise just as much as I do, as well as well as my little brother Dominic, who on my dad's side actually well was named by so honestly i cannot wait to see this franchise i'm gonna play on the playstation 3 i mean playstation 3 on the playstation 4 because my dad grew up uh he had the playstation 3 and then he upgraded to the playstation 4 and every time i went over to see him we always played on playstation 3 and 4 as well so that's where i'm really gonna play it on the channel i cannot wait for it now it's hard to say if this game is also canon in the franchise in universe because really, it it just says words where it's like inspired by it. It's based off of it. It's it just says words like that. So it's really, you know, Mike. It's really just like in between what it's gonna be. But we do know, and it also says that it this game story mode will be ex. It's supposed to expand the Fast and Furious universe. So it seems to be canon, but they're not saying that really. You know, it's just you gotta really read between the words right there. And it also will have Vin Diesel, Michael Rodriguez, and Tyrese Gibson replacing their walls as Dom, Letty, and Roman in the game. And all of these mods, when you see the trailer, it looks amazing. The graphics, the way how the gaming and the racing and all these cool gadgets look. If you know the Fast and Furious franchise and you love that, you're going to love this game. Trust me, mods, you're going to love it because I cannot <laughs> wait to play it. Now, it also does, it also says it's adapted from the Fast and Furious movie series. Once again, not seeing if it's really a part of it, but it's more or less like, will it have ties? Will it not? It's really hard to say. So that's going to be a whole debate right there. Honestly, I would not be mad if this is actually in set in the universe because the game just looks that dang good. It also says it's being developed by Slightly Mad Studios, which is known for Project Cars, and also once again published by Bandai Namco. 
and honestly so the game was also supposed to be coming out on may 27th this year but unfortunately due to the covid pandemic it got pushed back to august 7th so hey that's just another thing you can really do in um, august 7th if you're gonna binge watch the whole season four of um the seven deadly sins now it is set to be it is the game is set in different locations across the globe and features main characters from the series and uh, offers a new authentic storyline and non-stop cinematic style action which packs loads of gadgets sports cards and so much more mods it is really good it says it also comes with a single player mode and a multiplayer mode which will be available in the game which is gonna be amazing so overall mods if you're a fan of racing and the fast and furious, fr fast and furious franchise you're gonna love this racing game don't forget, it's coming out the 7th, as well as Inertial Drift. Now, next on, after now, Mars, that is already three things you have right there. Seven Deadly Sins, which is 24 episodes, by the way. Um, Inertial Drift and Fast and Furious Crossroads. So after you're done with all that, hopefully in probably a few weeks, unless you're a crazy person hopped up on sugar and energy, you're going to finish that all in a day. You're going to have to wait until the 20th, which another great thing is coming out which is Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter 63, which is featuring, which is basically taking place in the Galactic Patrol Prisoner arc still. The seventh arc in the overall Super franchise, but the fifth in the manga because they skipped the Broly movie and Resurrection of F. So, really, my, it's at this point, um, so now we're shifting gears into manga territory in the Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter 63, the next upcoming one. Just to give you all a little bit of context, I'm going to show you an image right now, hopefully, if I can find it and I'm allowed to post it. Because, honestly, it's just showing Moro tearing through all the Z-Fighters. Seriously, Mods, after Moro, um, who's the main antagonist, villain, practically. This guy is practically just a cold-hearted villain, seriously. He, do he doesn't like life. He sees life as basically energy on a platter that he can go up all he wants. He's literally known as Planet Eater Moro. He's over 10 million years old as it says that he's been in prison for about that long and now he's escaped. So you know this villain is going to be crazy good and crazy powerful minds. Seriously. He is insane. And that's literally amazing. Honestly, I love the way how he's designed because his first design was him as an old like goat looking creature. Um, humanoid villain with like a cloak on then he removes the cloak and you can see how old he really looks and then when he absorbs Goku and Vegeta's energy he just gets younger and more stronger now he's absorbed two of his henchmen uh, Shimo a uh, Shimo Rika and and the Android 73 who looks very similar to hit probably like a seventh universe kind of thing like what the Saiyans now you have like a hit species, which is really crazy because now he has the abilities from 7-3 to copy anyone's uh, um, attacks like he did with Vegeta's Big Bang and even hit him with that. And he even was able to um, use the special beam cannon against Piccolo. Honestly, Mites, all the Z fighters really have probably no chance. So really, it's really hard to tell what's going to come. Is the Grand Supreme Kai coming back? Is it going to be... Um, the new angel known as Miris, is he going to somehow stop it? Will it get erased because angels aren't supposed to interfere too much with the likes of planets and mortals in the universe? It really, really is hard to tell at this point. But on the last month, Chapter 73 is coming out August 20th, and it is going to be amazing. Thank you, Akira Toriyama and Toriyotaro, who is the artist, for making this happen honestly i cannot wait to see what's going to happen if something's going to happen after the arc. now next once again on the 20th apparently is uh switching gears once again is going to be a little different it's a movie that i personally am going to watch based on one of the greatest man to ever live nikola tesla who if you don't know or didn't pay attention to school too much and into aren't into science is a basically a serbian american engineer and physicist who lived from 1856 to 1943, so, you know, he's dead, fortunately, rest in peace, who made dozens of breakthroughs in the, in the production of transmission and electrical energy, which is amazing much, because I actually, um, last summer, what, what did go to Niagara Falls with my family, and um, actually did get to see one of his greatest inventions, or greatest places he worked at, the Niagara Falls Transformer House, 
which is literally just a place to transform, um, which is like basically hydroelectrical power transforming like the use of water into pure electrical energy, which is just amazing, honestly, because I'm a really huge nerd and I love physics and scientists like Albert Einstein, Thomas Edison, um, Nikola Tesla, which the plot of this movie also is said to be the brilliant is supposed to be based on the brilliant visionary um, a vision of Nikola Tesla. Um, who will be played by Ethan Hawke, fights an uphill battle to bring his revolutionary electrical system to fruition and faces thornier, odd word, but all right, thornier challenges with his new system for worldwide wireless energy. It is amazing. And it will also um, this, um, go through his interactions with Thomas Edison and J.P. Morgan's daughter, Anne, and his breakthrough in tra transmitting electrical power and light. So, if you are a big fan of science and are in the mood to find your um, inspiration, uh, just like Albert Einstein, Thomas Edison, and all these other great men who have lived, then this is a movie for you. And honestly, I will watch it because I'm just a big fan of science and I really admire Tesla. So, next month, here is one of the last final things. This is the second to last thing we will be announcing right here. Project Cars 3. And wouldn't you know it, didn't we say while we were talking about the Fast and Furious game Crossroads, didn't we say that was produced by Slightly Mad Studios? What do you know? It seems that we have some ties right now, Mars. Which this game, Project Cars 3, will be releasing on the 28th on platforms PlayStation 4 and Xbox One and as well as the PC. Now, according to this, Project 3 is an upcoming racing video game developed by Slightly Mad Studios and published by by Bandai Namco Entertainment. What do you know, Mike? It's like racing games are all over August, apparently. Which, you know, I don't mind because that's actually my birthday, August 2nd. <laughs> what do you know? Just passed. Had a great time, also. Um, it is scheduled to release on the 28th of August on all three of these platforms. And it introduces more customizable cars that are available to race over 140 global circuits all over the world. That is insane. The game also features a 24-hour cycle, which is actually pretty cool because a lot of games don't really feature that. In a sense, like GTA does do a whole, which isn't a racing game, but it is like a whole 24-hour cycle in its own universe because the time split speed up. So it's hard to tell if it will be, it seems to indicate that when it's 8 a.m. wherever you are in your settings, it'll be 8 a.m in the game as well which is pretty cool because a lot of games don't really do that too much um some games do like uh, like pokemon sun and moon do but nonetheless that is very cool it also will ve uh, feature various seasons and weather effects which is also really nice i can't wait to drive through the fall through all the leaves and like winter and the snow that is going to be really cool which could also affect how you drive in the game as well the career mode has also been rebuilt with the artificial intelligence being enhanced and the game will support VR only on PC. Hard to say. It doesn't say if it will be on using the uh, PlayStation VR, but who knows? Maybe that could be a thing because it is also coming to on the PlayStation 4 in a future update. Um, and it also says that according to the CEO of Slightly Matt Studios in Bell, the game will be a spiritual successor for um, two and for the Need for Speed Shift series, which was developed by Slightly Mad Studios as well, and has been acquired by the British video game developer and publisher Codemasters. Huh, what do you know? This game might be a slam dunk for my channel. Codemaster, Crashmaster, Bandai Namco, the Need for Speed series, which is also something my little brother loves playing as well. He just loves the game and he cannot stop talking about it. And is known f and which is also and Codemaster is also known for the Formula One series, the Colin McRae Rally series, and the Dirt series, which is another very fantastic game with Dirt Five coming out as well soon but we're not going to talk about that just yet and project cars 3 as um which are, which obviously we're talking about right now so and also and one last feature it does says that unlike its predecessors this game will not feature tire wear or fuel depletion um and as such there are no pit stop which is a little different compared to some games like i play like forza um motorsport series and forza horizon 4 which doesn't really show that many pit stops and whatnot but i know it's an option which i may be implementing soon but nonetheless this sounds like another great racing game with a lot of like 
people from different areas of the world and different companies and different gaming industries coming together to make this so this game may be worth it much because when i checked out the trailer the graphics look amazing the racing system looks pretty dang cool as well so if you're not a fan of uh, forza and you like the dirt series or and but really haven't checked that out check out project cars because there is two before and now we have the third installment of the series very very nice now much here we are the final announcement of the day we have a new movie coming out the new mutants which honestly i've been a little bit skeptical at first when i when i was heard of it but i have to say it looks very very nice much because um this because um really as we all hear after logan the the dark phoenix movie didn't receive too well of an ex uh, of a reception so you know wasn't really some people probably weren't too excited for this but Hey, Mart, what do you know? Looks like we got another movie, and I gotta say, this one looks great. It is. It was supposed to come out April 3rd, but now it's being released on August 28th, And it's. Uh, but the plot really is amazing and is unlike a lot of other, well, Marvel and Fox um, X-Men movies. Because right here, the plot is supposed to feature five young mu mutants just discovering their abilities while held in a secret facility against their will fight to escape their past sins and save themselves so this seems like it's going to be in the territory of horror which honestly much has been kind of in marvel and x-men movies but not really because the incredible hulk did have some scenes where sort of like a horror movie with like dark scenes featuring the hulk played by eric norton who by the way i really did like that movie it was really really nice and sort of like the the venom movie that did come out which i can't wait for the sequel which sort of was an esque horror movie it had a lot of dark scenes and you know it's venom an evil alien dark black symbiote which gotta say was very very nice as well so this seems like it might might go into the category of superhero horror movies um but that's not all much this will actually not be a fox movie this won't be produced by fox it is actually being created by 20th century studios in association with marvel entertainment so, and it is set to be an original horror thriller set in an isolated hospital where a group of young mutants is being held for psychiatric, for psychiatric monitoring. Hmm, seems that this is, might get pretty dark, so it's hard to tell if this will be for T for teen or mature, but it's probably going to be for teens because, you know, it's got teen, five young mutants who seem to be in their teens at least set into the X-Men universe. Hard to tell if this will take place in the actual full MCU um, timeline it could be is it going to take place in the original x-men probably not i think i'd like it to be set in the official mcu um universe well mcu our marvel cinematic universe but nonetheless it is going to be a great movie as it does actually have it actually does have many many familiar mutants from the comics and as well as many many familiar actors two who i'm going to talk about right now just because i know them more or less than the other actors from the movie but for the first one is Mar margaret williams who is we who if you do know the games of thrones series did play um Arya stark or or Arya stark oh we always mess up names i'm really sorry about that Arya stark in the series games of thrones from 2011 to 2019 and also did play a recurring role known as asherdel uh asherder also known as me in 2015's doctor who series 9 which starred peter capaldi as well um which honestly was um amazing mites that was one of my favorite seasons as well seasons 8 through 10 doctor who was amazing so if you know she was in doctor who and game of thrones she was obviously she's obviously going to be a great character in this who speaking of which is playing the character known as rain sinclair aka wolfsbane who is a fictional superhero obviously appearing in the original marvel comics and it's commonly is commonly associated with the X-Men. She so according to this, Wolfbane, aka um, um, Miss Sinclair, is a Scottish mutant who um, possesses the ability to transform into a wolf or into a transitional st um, state somewhere between a human and wolf. 
that is sort of similar to a werewolf. She has honed her powers to shift between human and wolf characteristic, but must keep her feral instincts at bay when she does. So great, we have sort of, also sort of obviously like a horror film, this is going to be apparently, we have a werewolf, which is obviously one of the most fictional horror-based creatures all over the world, obviously known. So, and also a Scottish mutant, which is kind of tying back into Doctor Who, since that doctor, played by Peter Capaldi, was Scottish had a Scottish accent, which is another tie-in, which is pretty cool, just saying, MCU Doctor Who crossover, that would be really epic. <clears throat> Next, another actor who we also, who, was, who, who also, um, by the way, also, um, who was a Miss Sinclair, Rain Sinclair, also Wolfsbane, uh, did appear in the original X-Men Junior team known as the New Mutants. So there we go. We have one another connection right there, but also another actor who is going to be playing um, a role in this game is Charlie R. Heaton, who is, if you know Stranger Things, is best known for who will be reprising as well also in the upcoming season four, possibly 2020, 2021 um, in the series Stranger Things, which honestly is one of the best TV shows in Netflix that a lot of us probably already heard of at this point, which is just amazing. 2016, still in its season four, soon to be. And he has been known to play and is reprising his role as Jonathan Byers, the older brother of Will uh, Byers. Now, in the movie, he is playing um, a character known as Samuel Guthrie or Guthrie, aka Cannonball who is said to be um, a mutant with crazy powers, um, which are just really amazing mods, because I never heard of this mutant until just recently. Cannonball is a mutant who uses the ability to fly at jet speeds while cased in an impenetrable force field. Seriously, that is just insane. Not only do you fly at jet speeds, but you're cased in an impenetrable force field, that's just really OP in a sense. That's crazy. Now, according to this, Cannonball was a founding member of the X-Men's junior team, the New Mutants. Huh, what do you know? <laughs> Just like the title of the film. So it looks like this will be coming straight from the comics because um, Cannonball first actually appeared in the New Mutants comic in September 1982. So it seems that um, possibly if you know that comic, which I haven't read yet, but I might check before it comes out, the New Mutants was actually, it seems to be maybe possibly taking out some elements and some characters from the comics, just like how Logan um, in 2017, by the way, one of the best movies ever, needs a lot of more awards, was based off the Old Man Logan series, but sort of, it took some of the ideas from it, but it was really loosely based off, just more or less like Logan being an old man and whatnot, but it seems that it might have a certain, certain obviously, um, premise, because obviously that's how the MCU and all these X-Men movies are based, they're based off from the comics, taking into a cinematic approach, but my, that is really all I have for you today, which, I'm sorry if the video was a little bit longer than expected, but nonetheless, I hope you all enjoyed the video, don't forget, this is all really just for also me, um, because my throat is a little bit sore right now, and I, I had to talk for about half an hour straight without drinking anything, but um, nonetheless, Mods, I really hope you all enjoyed this video because this video's purpose was really just to give you all like um, things to do in while we are in quarantine. So real recap, Mods, we have a tele we have the television show Seven Deadly Sins coming up on season four, three Netflix on coming up on Netflix on the sixth. On the seventh, we have two new games: Fast and Furious Crossroads and Inertial Drift. Very very nice games very very cool art style and and the cinematics and the, the way they're made looks like they're going to be worth it out trust me if you like racing games you're going to want to check those out we have um on the 20th dragon ball super manga chapter 63 coming out which is hopefully going to be as greatly um drawn and featured and like just can't wait to see what happens next on the 21st and on the 21st the next day we'll have the movie Te nikola tesla just called tesla so the movie is just called tesla which will feature nikola tesla obviously and on the 28th we have two things the movie the new mutants and also project cars 3 a new video game so there you go mice so you're basically covered for the majority from the end to the start of august to the end of august right there we'll all seven 
of those things you can do all seven that is gonna be amazing so hopefully mods you will all check them out too because honestly i can just not wait to get through the month of august in a sense like you know i'm kind of hoping it doesn't end but at the same time i can't just wait for everything to come out so i can just see, see it all so yeah much hopefully you all enjoyed this video it's pretty hot in here right now so i'm gonna go get something to drink because my throat is killing me um hopefully um you will all please leave a like and subscribe as well i don't know why i give two thumbs up but just make it three thumbs up or one thumbs up because you know if you hit it twice you're gonna like it then unlike it but nonetheless mites please leave a like and subscribe don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can get a form if there's another cm12 video um, cm12 news video coming out soon also don't forget to leave a comment on how long on how often you would like me to do a series do you want it once a month which would make sense you want me to do like every two months or only when like the big huge stuff comes out and yeah much that's basically it for now hopefully you all enjoyed it and i will see you all later let them all